Do on both sales are pleased to present Eptide 2, an Adams 53 pilot house cutter. Uh, this is an absolutely magnificent vessel. The current owners have um, done a huge amount of uh, upgrades on the boat and uh, not, not at all because it was required, but because they wanted to uh, have the best on the boat that uh, uh, they could uh, while they were operating the boat and cruising extensively. Some great sailing shots there, typical of an Adams design. Um, they're very, uh, very sea kindly, but also uh, good performing vessels. And um, this certainly uh, uh, carries all of that. As we go through the boat, the quality of the fit out um, really has to be seen to be appreciated. It is a true pilot house and uh, has some excellent features. Lovely galley as you can see here, twin bowl sink, there's really good refrigeration, great, um, great uh, bench space too, very nice dinette settee. Good attention to detail, I don't know if you saw them there, but the grab handles that are uh, forming the fiddle rails for the bench are very, very large and functional for when going below. Fantastic internal um, steering station, everything's there including a nav table, then a couple of easy steps down to um, a settee area. That also doubles up as two twin berths. Um, owner's cabin midships, so a good place to have the main cabin, really good size double berth, with plenty of storage. Lots of great timber trims, but also lots of uh, use of white to provide a very light and open airy feeling interior. The forward cabin, um, again, uh, fantastic storage. Uh, it's a V berth there. There's good storage under this, and um, this area can also be fully uh, enclosed, so a private area. Uh, good bathroom facilities. Um, we've got a hand basin and shower on one side, and then the uh, toilet in a separate uh, uh, compartment on the other. So good feature too with a hand basin. So uh, it's always good to have the toilet in a separate area of the bathroom. Little cocktail cabinet as we go past it there. A couple of stairs, steps up back up into the saloon. As I say, have a look at those grab rails. Good attention to detail. Um, nice, uh, really nice uh, setup with the uh, settee dinette there too. Now the boat also features two um, half cabins. Uh, they've got a double and a single in the way it's configured there. And the current owners have used the uh, starboard side cabin as storage stroke workshop. So very good, um, very good space and good allocation of space. Now here we start with the upgrades. This is a uh, 2021, sorry, 110 horsepower Yanmar. So fitted just uh, two years ago, brand spanking new, new, new gearbox, new shaft, all of that. The whole thing was upgraded. So um, typical of what's been done to the boat. Great cockpit, so uh, lovely cockpit in terms of uh, relaxation. Uh, good awnings over, uh, very good step through transom, so very easy boarding and so on. Um, very functional cockpit too from a performance point of view. Uh, the electronics are all uh, recent and up to date and uh, provide uh, everything you want to, uh, to run the boat. Um, and then as we go forward, uh, we can, uh, you can appreciate also the wide deck space. You've got the uh, granny rails around the mast, so uh, cutter rig, uh, the anchor winch when we get up that way is uh, brand new, literally it was only put on a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so it just, uh, it really is typical of what the boat offers. So, I recommend looking at the inventory details. There's too much there to, uh, for me to run through it now in terms of the upgrades. But the boat seriously is in excellent condition. Um, it's, it's like a composite construction. It's uh, Western and Red Cedar coal moulded uh, with epoxy uh, glass on each side. So uh, really very strong. This is a wonderful package. It's set to go anywhere. It's Australian registered. We highly recommend viewing.